I'm watching the chase. He's getting groomed on mushy monsters. <laughs> Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today, for the first time on the channel, we're checking out Mickey Flanagan. Let's go. When you get to 50, you get a bit of a miserable bastard. <laughs> things start upsetting you that never bothered you before. Little tiny things. I was on the train the other day, and a man had a wobbly walk coming off of his eye. <laughs> it's a proper hanger he had. The hanger's rare nowadays, isn't it? And it was, uh, the train was wobbling and it was wobbling and I was like, oh, Christ. It was really irritating me. Like, what have I got to look at your wobbly walk for two hours? Sort yourself out, yeah, sir. Yeah. But what was really irritating me was why I wasn't irritating him. <laughs> How cool is this man? Gets up in the morning, boing. <laughs> now I'll leave that. <laughs> I'll leave that. Because you get to a point in your life where you've only got a little bit of patience and you've got to save that for the people you love and care about. Normally your children and your parents. Because oh. they often have the capacity to talk quite a lot of bollocks. <laughs> and if you get them both together, it's a tough night. <laughs> I took my little boy the other day, he's seven, to meet me dad, 82, down the Roman road. Oh, it was a tough afternoon. <laughs> The boy started straight away. Dad, 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 do you think the Hulk could beat Spider-Man in a fight? I said, oh, I don't know, son. I don't know the answer to these questions. The next couple of days I kept thinking, I don't know, do you think the Hulk could beat Spider-Man in a fight? It'd be a tasty fight, wouldn't it? I said to him, I said, don't drive me mad. Play on your iPad for another three hours. Go on. <laughs> Because like a lot of parents, I started off good with the screen time. I said, only two hours a week, mm -hmm. absolutely maximum, two hours a week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Couple of months later, I'm watching the chase. He's getting groomed on mushy monsters. <laughs> Dad, Dad, I'm playing a geezer from Belgium. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's nice, boy. 51. Oh, really? I bet he's good, isn't he? <laughs> he wants to meet up, Dad. Yeah, just send him our postcode, he'll sort it out. <laughs> and then my dad starts. <laughs> now, my dad was evacuated during the war. He wouldn't know it. <laughs> Sometimes it's all 10 seconds before he crowbars it into the conversation. <laughs> he said to me, uh, When's the little boy going to start walking to school on his own then? I said, oh, I don't know, Dad, it's dangerous out there. You've got loads of traffic, you've got 70s entertainers floating about everywhere. <laughs> it's dangerous, isn't it? I don't know why they don't just bring them all in. Action man. Cat weasel, he can come in. <laughs> that geezer who used to get up in the night for the lemonade. I'm a secret charmer, let's do it. Oh, yes. I see you doing creeping about in the middle of the night. <laughs> so my dad said, don't talk to me about danger. I thought, oh, here we go. <laughs> you see, when I was a little boy, I was evacuated, weren't I, down to the Kent countryside. I used to have to walk to school on my own, right? I was walking to school one morning. German bomber came over, didn't it? Just on his way back from Blitz in London. He saw me. Did you? Yeah, probably that, yeah, 2,000 feet up. 3,000 feet, yeah, he spotted Germany. Yeah, he doubled back. <laughs> seen him in the rear view. Aha! Fine on chat! He said, yeah, he came in low, out the sun. Crafty, about eight feet from the floor. <laughs> <laughs> He's opened the machine guns up on me, honey. <laughs> he said, I dived in the bushes, saved me own life. <laughs> I come up, brushed the brambles off, I carried on to school. What? <laughs> and finishes it off with a tirade of abuse against the German people I've not heard for a long time. 
Fucking dirty slags. <laughs> Pieces of shit. We should go over there, bomb them again, as they get a few ideas. <laughs> I said, Dad, don't keep swearing in front of the boy, please. Why not? Because I don't want him swearing. Oh, of course you fucking don't. <laughs> Yeah, but if he keeps hearing you swear, he'll think he can swear. Well, tell him he fucking can't. <laughs> Don't dig me out. <laughs> and I know where he's coming from, because I don't mm. ever remember grown-ups not swearing around me when I was a little boy. The rules were, grown-ups could swear and you could, and you were a kid. But your day would come. Mm. <laughs> Big rites of passage day, wasn't it? Swearing indoors for the first time. <laughs> Do you know what? Normally when you... I still don't. Ah, uh, I s no, me in general, I swear a lot. I swear a lot, but I don't swear in front of my parents. I don't. Nah. If I do, it's, my, it's probably a slip. And when I know it, like, oh, I feel bad. I just don't. I'm not even 30. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 29 next week. But I just don't swear in front of my parents. Just come on. Just respect, I think. You put a few quid on the table. First bit of housekeeping. Bosh. <laughs> Your mum would say, all right, you have a nice day at work. No, it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why was it so hard? Foreman's a cunt. Oh! <laughs> you had to go too far, <laughs> didn't you? You had to go too far. <laughs> Only your father uses the C word in this kitchen. Or me, a badger father. <laughs> are you at or were you at? That's not bad. Yo, where's that accent from? I'm trying to guess where that accent's from. Ah, I don't know. Not too sure. I've, it's definitely from the UK. If you guys like that, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Patreon. Check out the membership. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.